B-O-N-N-I-E-B-A-N-K-S, Bonnie Banks. Uh, my definition of noise is uh, uncontrolled music without format. It's a pretty simple affair, pancakes and then ear blast. Well, people get up <clears throat> Sundays, usually around noon, the weekends or whatever, so it shouldn't be too hard to just walk into a place, have your audio alarm clock go off for two hours, waking you up while you're eating breakfast with maybe some interesting visuals once in a while. It's improvisation, listening or not to the person you're playing up against or people or machine. Try and get as many different people in as possible of different genres of experimental noise, power electronics, dissonance, some drone, very little, tiny bit of ambient. I think the first noise pancake show was 1999. The first God Waffle noise pancake show was 2001, maybe. God Waffle Noise Pancakes started from Noise Pancakes, which came out of Pubis Noir, a place on Mission Street where Brutalo from the church police would open up his uh, house just to have Saturday morning cartoons in 3D. But a big space you can have everybody set up the whole show and barely even move their equipment around, which is great. It's more room for an audience to move around and walk over and get pancakes without getting burned up in the kitchen. There's like people into hardcore gabber. There's people into punk rock. There's people into like really fast death metal, um, black metal. There's you know, people who don't listen to music at all. A guy like Larney Fox set up this huge um, motor-driven harp. I don't know how to explain it. There's maybe 40 little motors that he had running over strings and wires and then played each string individually with a mixer. There is a feeling of euphoria when somebody is really good at what they do. If you're at a live show and you're experiencing a subwoofer trying to push your bowels out of your rear, it's a lot different. A lot of noise acts, you got to realize, don't get to play clubs that have a cleaning schedule, a guy coming in in the morning and emptying the beer bottles. They'll play a warehouse or a bedroom. If you've traveled around, you'll see the exact same kind of weirdos doing their own thing. It seems like in the Bay Area, it's even more absurd. There seems to be a lot more people than in a place like New York or Tokyo. We did a show in New York and people have, that I didn't think anybody was at hardly have come up and said, I saw this show. I wish there was something, some kind of breakfast noise thing going on out there. I think a lot of people have just like beamed walking out of those shows or just said that was incredible or I can't believe it's over already, you know, after two hours. If you're reluctant to enjoy something like this, it'll probably take a mass of peers to sell you on it, so it's fine if you stay away it's 
most of the people that come to these shows are pretty happy to be there. You may not be one of them, which is fine. <laughs>